What's up, everybody? It's Dylan here with uh, Dylan's RC and 3D printing. Today, we're right now, well, today, yeah, I guess this is the third video of my installment. Third video of my channel. Last year, I want to say that. Last time I'm going to say this. I've got a... I'm doing a review of my charger. It's a SkyRC IMAX B6 Mini. Now, this is a legit version. Went on another website and checked. I even took the little code on the back of it. This is a very legit version. The other crappier versions look a lot different. And they're often ripoffs and they don't work correctly. And they don't come with as many nice features. We've got a it's got six amp charging and two amp discharging. It does lipo one to six cells, life one to four cells, I just call them lifes. Lion one to six cells, nim nim. 1 to 15 cells, uh, NICAD 1 to 15, and PB 2 to 20 volts. Uh, here's all the specs. Uh, the back of the box, you can go ahead and charge the video, pause the video now if you want to see it. I'm just going to go over it. And then, I have to buy this separate, it's just a cheap little, uh, little AC adapter and the specs for it I'm gonna move that off to the side probably do a quick power on I bought some extra parts and it's in the box already I, I I've already opened this before because I I already used it a couple times manual Pfft, who needs that I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding always keep the manual manuals are awesome I've used this for so many things on it already now, I don't have an actual Atomic RC bolt, but that came with one of the things I bought. Here's the charger itself. I'm going to look at it in a minute. Cover the keeping box. All the adapters. So that means we can stick everything back in the box. Close the box. Just stick it off to the side down there. And, uh... Be back with you in a minute once I've sorted these all out. All right, I'm back. I uh, just went to the pool, so yeah. Currently, kind of packing and stuff. We're going to Virginia for a couple days tomorrow. If if, if you don't know already, I live in uh, Kissimmee, Florida. Currently in Winter Haven because I'm at my grandmother's house. But uh, yeah, so um, the way these work is it uses Dean's connectors to plug everything in. So here's. Here's, there's one actual main Deans, which is, I want to, I think it's this one, yeah, right here. So you plug these two things into the charger, and plug this in to the, uh, zip, focus it. Focus. Like that, and you just plug it in there. Alright, that's the main thing, so, uh. I'll show you that in a little bit. I bought this for my uh, Traxxas batteries. I'm not a big Traxxas fan, to be honest. I don't, I don't really like them, but it's a system I got on my car, so I kind of have to use them. And, uh, yeah, that is the uh, connector I use for that. It's got, so you can connect like these to like a battery lead or something, and then you can power this. This is to power that. Notice it's not like the bananas. Not like these bananas right here. It's a power thing that plugs in right there. But yeah. So that's where that goes. So we'll put that back over there. And we got a, um, a, a JST HT60 uh, alligator clips for just charging anything. I'm going to use that to charge my drone because I broke my drone charger. And a, uh, like, servo-type connector. Zoom. I hate, I hate my iPhone's camera. It's, it honestly sucks. But it, it works. It's better than nothing, right? So, uh, let me get back to you in a minute, and I got all this cleaned up. Alright, we're back again. Uh, first of all, this is, this actual Atomic RC card is for the Traxxas connector, because Atomic RC uses Traxxas, uh, regular Traxxas hack connectors but yeah now as you can see we've got the actual uh, charger itself it's the IBAX B6 mini 
over here. Focus, focus. Why are you not focusing for me today, you stupid phone? Focus. I don't know what that does. There we go. It's got it's got balance suckers for four, three, two, six, and five cells. See? Four, three, two at the top. And uh six and five cells at the bottom. We've got the two banana plug wire banana plug enter entry leads. Let's uh I'll grab the Traxxas connector right here. A Traxxas one for my lipo. And we'll plug it in right here. Alright, alright. So as you can see, we're just gonna stick it in there like that. Now I actually did something where I plugged it into my battery without plugging these in and they kinda touched a bit. And I don't know if you can see it. But it put a little bit of a little bit of a burn into it, but that doesn't matter. It still works perfectly fine. I charged my battery on it last night. Now that I got that plugged in, and it's plugged into my charger, you see, I can go grab my LiPo, which is in this box right here. Yes, I keep it in the bubble wrap. Don't judge me. I haven't popped it yet. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll uh, just. Sorry, I'll do this for a second. I cut that out quickly. But I just stuck the phone under my chin. Now we got the battery itself plugged in. Now, what we're going to do is, seeing that this is a two cell, I'm going to take the two cell balance connector and uh, plug it into the two cell slot, which is, as you can see, Put in there, right there, all the way to the right. And all, and all the way to the right is right there. So what I'll do is I'll uh, line up which side I want to stick in. I want to stick in that side. Stick it in. Inappropriate stuff. You might be thinking, stick it in. Shut up. You got a dirty mind. Get your mind out of there. And there we go. Now the battery's hooked up. And then I'll take the power adapter, which I have plugged in down there. I'll plug it in right here, and it'll power on. Now, I can do multiple things. So first of all, let's get that stop program. Now, I can just do a quick charge without setting anything up. So I can click a battery program, lipo battery, life, lion, nymph, NICAD, and PB. So I can select any of those. Let's say we'll do a lipo. Sorry, fan, quick fan thing. Uh, cause I'm I'm in a screen room and it gets real hot in here if I don't have the fans on. Cause I live in Florida, Central Florida at least. But uh, bestie, so it it powers on, and I was only gone for a couple seconds there. I I can do things like let's say I want to change it to a lipo balance charge, charge, fast charge, which means it's not gonna bother balancing, storage discharge and then back to balance so I can do a balance charge I can go in four, I can go to I think six amps yeah yeah I can do up to six amps I usually charge it about four tell me if I can use higher on that it's a 25c battery you can look at my over here. so I click enter right and I want to go to a uh, 7.4 volt 2s or a 2S battery. Okay, enter. And then it'll have you confirm it by entering it. Now I've already got this battery charged, so I'm not gonna actually charge it. But uh, cancel that. Now I'm gonna go through, scroll through all these. It's the same for all of them. Now we got a battery meter. So I click on that, and it tells me all my voltages up to six cells. So my first cell is 4.19, my second cell is at 4.18. That's not that bad. My main my main battery voltage is 8.36. My H is whatever that is, 4.186 volts. Oh, that's my um cells. 
that's the, the cell's voltage main, that actual full on voltage. My higher up, uh, the first cell is at a 4.188. I don't know why they say high. And the low is 4.179. That or the, that's how it's cycling. So that's, that's the, that's the battery meter. Alright, so battery stop. That's the battery meter. Now I got battery resistance. This will tell you the resistance of your battery if it's good or not. I'm getting 3 ohms in the first one and 4 ohms in the second cell, so that's good. Then I got system settings. Wait, before I show you system settings, I want to show you something here. If you look under it, it also tells you all the uh, things you can do. WIPO, LIFE, and LION, you can do 1 through 6 S. Circuit power can do 60 watts and all those other fun stuff. Shows you all right there. So now we got the safety timer. So we'll only charge a battery for 180 minutes. No matter what, no matter what kind of battery I'm charging, I'll we'll charge it for only 80 minutes. You can cycle through and change that. The capacity cutoff. So I'll change this depending on the battery I'm using. Right now I'm at a 3300 milliamp, so I check it at 3400. Which may not be the best, but I don't mind. Then I got the temp cutoff, which is uh, 50 degrees Celsius, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Which, I don't have the thermometer adapter, so I guess it goes off by how hot this itself is. Temperature unit, I can do a... Uh... Oh crap, I messed that up. I can go enter and I can change it, Celsius, Fahrenheit, Celsius, Fahrenheit. I live in America, so yeah. Uh, Reese... Rest time 10 minutes, so I give it 10 minutes before it will let me, before it will say, uh, done because I want to let the battery balance out. Nymph sensitivity, 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 damn it. Uh, that can change, I guess. I don't really know what that does. Don't really know. Key beep on and buzzer on. So the buzzer basically goes off when the battery start is done. Input power is low cut off 10 volts. So basically, if it only gets 10 volts in here, it'll go input power too low. Max power is 50 watts. Load factory set enter. That, that'll reset its factory settings. It's version... Uh, I, I gotta change this stuff around. Serial number, blah blah blah. And blah blah blah. And it goes on that, alright? Back. Alright, so next is my battery memory. Now, Here's my light bulb. I have it set as number one. So all I have to do is go in here, click enter. Uh, that, that. Hold enter for a second or two. And then it'll bring me into the charge and then I can hold it for a second. Then it'll have me uh, check to make sure you, that's how you want it. But I'm going to go ahead and say no because I've already charged this battery. And then I have my uh, NIM set on number 10. I actually did that. And then, and then it resets. That's pretty much it. I can't, I can't flash this, like, watch, I, I unplug it. I hold a stop and enter, I think it is. And give me a second. It didn't work. I, I don't really know how to do that. But uh, that's pretty much it for the actual charger itself. Let's unplug these. Actually, I'm going to be smart about this and plug that first. And then, this, sorry, had to unplug that. Now I can unplug the bananas. Bad idea that don't ever unplug your bananas without disconnecting the battery first. Bad idea. And then, I guess the last thing's last. I've got the manual here. It's just, it just go, basically goes through what I just showed you. And maybe a couple extra things that I didn't cover. Nothing that major. It just, it just says, oh, this is this, this is this, blah, blah, blah. And actually, I'm going to cut it here. This has been Dylan with Dylan's RC and uh, 3D printing. And hurrah. No copyright events there. Sorry. They're cubed.